Hey, Quans County. Today, I am joined by Pat Hodges from the Ombudsman Program right here in Quans County. And you probably heard that name and you're like, I don't know what an Ombudsman is. It's Scandinavian. I it looked it up. It's Scandinavian. Very yeah. good. <laughs> For advocate. It is. So you're an advocate in Queens County. Yep. So let's talk about that. Okay. Thank you for joining us today, Pat. Thank you for having me. Sure. So advocate, ombudsman, what is it? Um, an ombudsman is an advocate for people who reside in long-term care, um, nursing homes, assisted livings, um, you know, community care. Right. People so that are not in their homes. Exactly. And this is a free service in Queens County. It is. And people don't no even cost. know that you're there for them. Right. There so, are a lot of people that don't don't realize that we're there for their residents and for the you know for the residents themselves and their family. So we can we can help them with a lot of things. Right. So what what exactly is it that you do then? Um, we help people resolve issues mm -hmm. that they may be having in a nursing home or an assisted living. Um, we help them to stand up for their rights. We teach them what their rights are. Um, we investigate complaints that we get. Um, we get complaints from all kinds of people. Anybody can call and make a complaint. Um, but the resident is our sole person that we work for. Right. So without their permission, we can't do anything. Um, everything's confidential. We can't discuss it with anyone, um, not even our coworkers, unless they're ombudsmen. Mm -hmm. It's a very unique group. And we, we're also talking, you're there for the residents that are at these places, but you're also there for families. So <laughs> people that, that have members could also reach out to you, right? Right, right. Family members that are concerned about maybe care that their loved one's getting can call and we can, you know, we can investigate that with the resident's permission. Right. Sometimes a family member wants us to investigate and the resident doesn't, and in that case I can't. Right. So I would kind of look more broadly in the in the facility to see if that issue is happening in more than one place sure and we were talking uh when people want to contact you you do get a chance to make it to all the the, the right. nursing homes in right. the area we do visit but if maybe you're not going to be there in a little bit they can reach out to you so how would they do that they can call me at um and the phone line is confidential no one has access to it other than me it's 410-758-0848 and my direct extension is 2714. Right. They can also email me at phodges at qac.org. And I can always get back to them. I'm usually back to people within 24 hours. Awesome. Mm -hmm. So could we talk about what's it like for you? Do you like, we, we talk about the program, but I want to mm -hmm. know in your daily life, like is, what's an experience like when you, when you get to deal with I will, our, our I will area. tell you the best part of it yeah. is talking to the residents sure. and learning their stories and their histories and, and just making them smile, yeah. making them feel like they're important, giving them the time to tell you their story. Right. You know, and then you, I want people to feel comfortable talking to me so that they will gain trust and be able to open up if they're, you know, if they're willing to. So, and you're a very busy person. Yes. And you must still love to be able to take the time to hear their stories. That's great. That's the best part of the job yeah. is, is actually visiting with the residents and talking to them. And there's a lot of documentation that we have to do, um, but that's okay. I don't mind doing that. Mm -hmm. I just, I would much prefer just go chat with people because right. <laughs> I'm pretty good at that. Yeah. So. <laughs> If you watch right now, well, obviously we're Queens County. Mm -hmm. You're the Queens County Ombudsman. Mm -hmm. and, but this is a program all throughout Maryland. And yes. I guess, I, I assume, I know it's in Maryland, all throughout the United States. There's, there's an Ombudsman for every county in the state. Right. And Baltimore City has their own. And, and some have more than one. Um, but Kent County has one. They cover Kent County, Caroline County, and Talbot County. Mm -hmm. And then the Lower Shore, she covers the five lower counties. Um, and I won't say them because I'm not sure if I could say them. <laughs> that's, her, that's her job anyway. <laughs> but um, I am the only ombudsman here. I have one volunteer. Um, but we're fortunate we only have five assisted livings mm -hmm. and the nursing home. So um, we're pretty rural. So if someone is looking for information or they're, they're reaching out for an ombudsman, 
they will be talking to you, Pat. Yep. And you can't wait to hear from them, I bet. Sure. That's right. Call me. I love to talk to you. Sure. Well, thank you so much for coming in and introducing Queens thank County, you. they don't know, to our ombudsman program. Thank you for having me. Of course. Advocate in Scandinavia. Advocate. Thank you for watching today. We want you to go online to get more information. You go to qac.org and you look up the ombudsman program. And you can always find our videos on qactv.com. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time, sailors.